Hey everyone. So my son got this pillow from his Nana and Papa in Oklahoma and is ripped. And he had asked if I could sew it for him. I've already started. And I'm just gonna kind of show you guys. There's different ways to do it. I know my way might not be proper, but it works. Uh, it's called life hacks. So I might be able to do it this way. So I'm gonna make sure I get all the stuff and put back in. My wedding ring doesn't wanna get caught. Love this ring. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it. Oh, I need to start here. Go through to the other end and pull. Come over. I'm gonna kinda pinch some of the fabric together so I can get it over and then go down. Now that I got it started, we just kind of line it up. Now, for kids I know who will be watching this, because I know I've seen some of my friends and their kids watch my videos. Amber, Alicia. I am using a real needle, not the little kitty one. So yes, they are sharp and they do hurt if you're not careful. Hence why I don't let my kids play with them. If they need something sewn, they come to me or my mom. <laughs> That's sad, they come to me or my mom. Mostly right now it's me because I work from home, thankfully, but I like that. So I just keep going. And if I need more string, I just pull when I need it. Ow. See, normally when you're sewing, you use a thimble, which is this little piece. And the thimble is what helps you from getting poked, like I just did to this finger. And I could care less because sometimes I like pain on me. Ending the pain. Alright, so here, Ryan, what do you think so far? I like it. Right. Me, I always make sure with my kids when I'm fixing something of theirs that it's up to their standards because it's theirs, not mine. Well, it's kind of both. Because for me, it's got to be perfect. It's got to be done right. And etc. Okay. Alright. Sorry, he's playing with his toys. Okay, now that I got that done. I know I shouldn't use these, but these are kitchen scissors, but they're clean for now. Keyword there. For now. Okay, I'm gonna cut the string. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna check it. Yeah, okay. And I'm gonna cut where the excess is. Excess, and then let's see where's my needle again. Okay, you guys will get to also see how to do the string. So normally this little metal piece looks like this. Is normally connected to this, but this came off. But I'm gonna pinch it. Then you take your needle, and there's normally about a little call. Well, I call it a, bu a bubble boil because of medical school. That's just how I remember it. Go through. I'm uh, not bending it.
It's hard to do this when I got my long nails now. There we go. Okay, so once you get it through, uh, where is it? you can't really see. There we go. That's what it looks like. Okay. And then I'm going to find, so I got the string. So, let me show you. So, here's the string. Get a little closer to the camera. Okay. You're going to go through that one loop. Okay. And then you just pull it carefully out. And voila. You got it. Your, you have your uh, needle attached. And, of course, it comes out. Oh, my gosh. Careful. Mm. All right, I'm going to try something different this time. I already got it leveled up. I already got it in the first loop. If I can get it to the second, which I know could be a pain. That's our neighbor's truck. Not ours. And, ow, I actually had that in my finger. Huh? No, I know there was a I've seen a life hack trick. I don't know if it would work. Before I tell you guys it will work, I want to try it. Yeah, it don't work. Maybe I can find one of my bigger bevels. That's what it's called, a bevel. Whoops. And I just spilled all my needles, so be careful over here. Bigger one, bigger one. Good. Sometimes what I do is I moisten it, the string. to go in. What? I'm talking to myself. You know, talking to yourself can be a scary thing. Well, no, I'm sorry. It only gets scary when you answer yourself. Ooh, and I just flung it. Watch for you step right now. I just flung it. Do you see anything silver over here, Ryan? I don't know where it flew to. Or string. That's grass. Oh, found it. I think. Yep, shiny. And I lost it again. Uh, there it is. Thank you.
And yes, these things are that challenging. That's why I don't like these. All right. So I just got this one little gap. I just need to get this in. Ooh, caught it. I do one thing at a time right now, right? Well, if you want me to fix your toy, then I won't have time to do your pillow because I'm almost done with your pillow. Then you fix this. And this is why I have a shirt that says literally mom life. Toys. Kids break toys and the mom fixes them. But I love my kids. Ooh. Partly why I love working from home. Because they can actually be here when I'm working. Alright, there we go. I tied it off. Now I'm going to snip. Oh, not the needle. Snip off the edge. The excess. And there we go. It's all sealed. Not that hard, and you can't tell. Because normally I go for the color. You always want to go do the string that matches the color. Granted, this is a lighter blue. I use dark, like a royal blue, navy blue. But you can't really tell. So that's a good thing. But, come here, Ray. There's your pillow. My brand new pillow. Hello. Good? Yeah. And that's how a mom life is. See ya.